Laura here with Two Hooch Hikers. I am going to the beach, my annual beach outing with my grandchildren and daughter. This is our second year doing it. And I was wanting some type of um, cover for when I'm out because I burn easily. So, because when I go with my daughter, we will be at the beach for at least eight or more hours. So anyway, I looked online and I saw this really cool thing. It's called Summer Love and Summer Beach Tent. It's really nice. So I started shopping around for it. And the cheapest I found was $150 at Amazon. Now I don't know about you, but I think that's pretty asinine. There's not much to it for $150. So my lightning fast mind decided we are going to make one. So, what it is, it has two horizontal poles and one vertical pole. So, I looked at uh, tent, telescoping tent poles, and each pole would be, oh, let me see, I've got a piece of paper here, $13.99 per pole. So you're talking $27.98 for just two poles. Now I need something to go across the top, and I couldn't think of anything. So I come up with another thing, PVC pipe. I got two 10-foot, 1-inch PVC pipe, and they were $2.66 a piece for a grand total of $5.33. And I've got my two horizontal poles and my vertical pole for five dollars and thirty three cents so I'm kicking this hundred and fifty dollar thing in the butt here now what I did is I took the ten foot pole and I cut it into two six foot poles now I've got to make it where I can transport it so a six foot pole is kind of big to transport so then I cut those two six foot poles into three foot poles. So now I've got four three foot poles and I'm using a connector, a PVC connector, one inch, to connect the two three foot poles to make a six foot pole. Okay? On the top of that pole I've got a cap and inside the cap you can see there's a screw just like that. Now that is a machine screw. It's a 24 by one and a half machine screw that we put in there. Okay? So there it is. And that's going to fit on top of my pole. Now, with my 10 foot pole that I cut into a 6 foot, I had 4 foot left over. So I had two four-foot sections. I got the heat gun, Mark's heat gun, and I heated up the end of the pole, and I used some clamps to flatten it out. And once that was um, dry, drilled, I don't know if you can see it, a hole in it. So now, my four-foot, two four-foot, pieces, again, will be connected with another connector. So I bought three of these connectors. One for each vertical and one for the horizontal. So, and once I get the top up, this will be on the top of my vertical pole. And here goes my horizontal pole right there. So, now I'm going to put it together, and hopefully I measured everything right. Now, for here at the house, I don't have sand, so I'm just going to use pegs. But at the beach, of course, I bought this that you use for uh, umbrellas. 
you screw it down in the sand. And then my horizontal pole, whoops, fits right down in there. So that, that's how that'll work at the beach. And then instead of using um, stakes, because stakes won't work in sand, I went, Amazon's awesome, and got some sandbags. I was gonna sew some bags together, but I thought I'm not gonna pay, I don't wanna pay a lot of money. So I've got a package of 10 sandbags for $8. So you fill that puppy up with sand, and that's going to be the anchor. So, come, let's put this thing together. This is the view with it done. I just stuck a chair out there. Um, I did not make this tight, but you know, hey, I could tighten that up, tweak it. So, I mean, you got plenty of space under for breeze. So I am happy with my setup. Okay, folks, this is everything. I just took it down. So, tarp with the cordage, I'm gonna leave it on, and the sandbags, four sandbags right here. And then all of my, uh, believe it or not, that's just two 10-foot PVC pipes. <laughs> the uh, three connectors, the two caps, and my sand anchors. And you might say, now how are you going to transport all of that mess? That was my question too. Since this was a last minute thing and Mark won't be going, he's not a beach person and he doesn't want to go camping with the grandchildren. <laughs> I took his chair out of, you know, those cheap chairs that come in the bags, camp chairs. I'm using his camp chair bag until I can make something. So we're going to put everything in that. And there you have it, my friends. The two poles do stick out, but it made it in there. Everything except for these bad boys. And I finished just in time. We are getting some clouds. And honest to God, this must have been the hottest day of the year. 92 degrees and the humidity has got to be 100%. So, I'm going to take my goodies and go in. Adios.